Hi, my name is Kim Kruger, a Ventures Associate here on the Health Program at Plug and Play, and I am sitting here with Heather from Santa Fe, and I will let Heather introduce herself. Hi, my name is Heather Bell. I'm the Global Head of Digital and Analytics at Santa Fe, the pharmaceutical company. Great, so Heather, I had a few questions for you today. Um, Santa Fe is a big brand name in health and healthcare, so tell us, um, what is your company doing these days and why? what's the drive and innovation for Santa Fe? So we're a pharmaceutical company, we're R&D based, so innovation is in our blood. Mm -hmm. I think what's changed is that um, we've gotten a lot more interested uh, in digital innovation and digital transformation um, in recent years. Mm -hmm. And tell us what digital transformation can be very broad, especially uh, health and healthcare and pharmaceutical industry. So what maybe specific focus areas do you have in that umbrella? So for us, we've um, thought about where digital can add value mm -hmm. across all of our different activities. We have six priorities, and they range from reducing time and cost to market by mm -hmm. digitizing clinical trial operations, to engaging differently with our physician customers using digital channels, and to coming up with new solutions that can help improve patient outcomes that supplement our drugs. Mm -hmm. Great, fantastic. And how do you see the future of the industry changing over the next five, 10 years? And I guess, how does that vision play into these strategies? Well, I think we're pretty excited about um, the pace of change. I think what we'll see is um, more, more and more adoption of these mm -hmm. technologies and more and more um, concern about data how we capture it responsibly, how we analyze it well, and how we use the insights from it to um, better serve our customers and to develop better drugs. Mm -hmm. And if you had to make a prediction, um, what do you think is gonna be the next big innovation in the pharma space? And do you think it'll be from an incumbent or maybe from a startup or one of these more traditional tech companies like a Google or an Amazon? Yeah, I think, I mean, it's a great question. I think we're, um, just fascinated to see, I mean, sitting here at Plug and Play, fascinated, mm -hmm. I've just come out of startup pitches, mm -hmm. right? Fascinated to see the new ideas that are coming out of the startup space. I think there the challenge is, how do you really scale? I think what's really interesting um, about the tech companies is they come in with scale and a very customer and user experience orientation. Mm -hmm. um, I think for us, we have a lot of the healthcare and therapy area expertise mm -hmm. and the global scale, if not always, mm -hmm. um, we're working on you know, the digital and the agility. Right. So big changes we'll see. see I, I think we're gonna see a lot more automation and artificial mm -hmm. intelligence generating insights um, about disease. Um, and I think we're going to see a lot more remote care. Mm -hmm. I'm just amazed by the statistics on, um, for example, the percentage of millennials in the U.S. I think is now at 42% who have interacted with the decision over video, mm -hmm. right? That's just a huge generational mm -hmm. shift mm -hmm. relative to, um, old, you know, people who are a generation older who are just thrilled to talk to their doctor by phone, right? right? <laughs> so I just think there are a whole set of expectations mm -hmm. about the way care is delivered that are just going to be shattered mm -hmm. and I think it's going to be really interesting to see that play Right. And you gave a fantastic talk this morning, which we can jump a little bit into, but you reminded me of two statistics you mentioned um, that might be fun to share, both doctors that have interacted with a voice technology and a virtual reality technology. Um, yeah, so this is, a DRG, Decision Resources Group, does these really terrific um, physician insight reports. Um, and the 2017 one for um, physicians in the U.S. said that 12% of physicians have used voice for professional purposes. Um, and 27% have used virtual reality wow. for professional purposes. And I was amazed by these numbers. I thought the voice number would be higher, right. given that everyone, you know, every conversation you have is, oh, mobile's passe, mm -hmm. it's all about voice now. Um, but people haven't talked so much about virtual reality. And that number at 27% starts to feel to me like a tipping point mm -hmm. number. And of course, you can see the applications, right? Medical education, let me put you in front of a patient, let me put you in an emergency, a, you know, a, a virtual reality emergency room to see how you that handle that situation. Right, right. And you did, you brought up this great point too about well, for Santa Fe's initiatives and then scale that you can bring. So here at Plug and Play, we work with a lot of startups. So I'm wondering if you have any tips and tricks for startups looking to scale and maybe, you know, 
form some kind of partnership. Yeah, uh, you know, well, so one of the things that we really, uh, you know, admire about Plug and Play is your global reach, mm -hmm. right? Usually incubators, accelerators are deep in a very local right. ecosystem. So the fact that you guys have 26 locations across the globe mm -hmm. is unique as as far as I know, um, and a big attraction for us. And I think for startups, you know, there's always tension, right? You want people to focus on the use case and application and really prove right. prove that. Right. Give us some metrics so that we know that this works. But we're a global pharmaceutical company, right? You want to really work with us on clinical trials? We need to be in at least 10 countries. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to have a solution that works in English in the US, but mm -hmm. the game for us is how do we really deploy this globally? So I think my, my tip and trick, advice to the startups, is you know get your focused use case but start to think internationally mm. um, because that, you know that's really going to be the key to unlocking um, you know, big growth mm -hmm. with big corporate partners. Thank you Heather and thank you for joining us for this interview.